up guys this is lb and today we're gonna get into a, a let's talk about so recently i just finished watching singles inferno and i feel like we need to talk about it. i feel like we need to talk about the situations and everything that happened in this show so let's get into our topic of let's talk about let's talk about singles inferno because if you haven't watched it watch it if you watched it you know exactly what i'm talking about so let's get into it <laughs> So Singles Inferno, little lay down of it, is basically, uh, how many contestants are those? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it started off with nine contestants entering the, to into the Inferno, which is this island. And the objective of the Singles Inferno is that you're going to go on dates with these um, people, like you get to know them one-on-one. -on -one, and then at the end of the day, you're going to pick which person sparks your interest the most to take into the paradise. And paradise is this nice hotel. It's like a five-star hotel that they can go and actually learn more about each other and see if they like each other more or if they're interested in learning about other people. So, um, and it's consisted of, like I said, the nine contestants. And then we have four, like, spectators. And I'll put a picture of the spectators here. You'll know some of them by like instantly knew with the actress because she was on uh, that show www or search www something like that and that's where i found her at and i loved her i think she's so pretty but we have our nine contestants and i'll let you know who each of them are and i'll put a picture of them as well as i name them and i'll tell you what they're like their profession so we have sung jia so sung jia is a youtuber and also a model Okay, and then next on our list is uh, Choi C. Hun. He owns his own clothing line. He's dabbling into that. Um, we also have who I let was the most beautiful as girl was Kang So Yun. She's actually a CEO of her own boxing gym, and she's to be a former boxer. Um, we also have On Jin Tank. He owns his own clothing store. He does like custom tailors, like you know, like the suits. So he owns like a tailor shop. Um, then we have Shin Ji Yun. Uh, she's actually in a school right now. She's uh, going to university to become a neuroscientist. Um, and then we also have Kim Hyung Jung, which he's also a model and a personal trainer. Then we have An Ye Won. She's also a model and a personal trainer. Then we have Kim Jung Sik. He models and he's actually in the process of starting his own company. And then we also have Moon Sehun, who on the show when I watched it, he I know he said he's like a CEO of like culinary something, but I know he's like a chef. So I think he owns his own like because I really like I watched this episode yesterday and I felt like I wanted to talk about it today, make a video on it. So if I'm not wrong, he basically owns his own restaurant. He's like a chef. And I'm gonna start off with those nine contestants because in the end it actually was nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It ended with twelve people, but I wanted to start with those nine that it first started off the show with. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm in a different um, setting because I'm in my kitchen. I'm working on making uh, baked goods to sell. So that's why I'm like, my kitchen looks like a little bit of a mess. And then in my living room, you see my dogs, the cat's right there too. She blends it with the blanket. So I'm just multitasking. Anyways, let's get back to this. So um, basically, like I said, the show is these people learning to like get to know each other, see how they feel about each other and how if they want to go to paradise together or not. Now I'm going to voice my irritations and my like all moments. Okay. So I have four things that irritated me in the show. Okay. First thing was, um, what was the first thing? Oh, um, and just FYI, there's going to be spoilers. So if you don't want to know the spoilers, I would suggest probably not watching this video. But if you want to know the spoilers, just to see like what the show was really about. I personally liked it. I liked it more than American dating shows because it was very like, I got more like respect for each other on this show. So, um, the first thing that irritated me though on this show was, um, Moon Sang-hoon chasing after uh Sin Jae-yun and the only reason why it irritated me that he was chasing her is because she made it kind of obvious that she wasn't interested in him like that and it just irritated me because it was like this poor dude he only sees her like tunnel vision her and she's just 
Like, see, like, if you watch the show, I don't know if it's the camera work. Like, a lot of the stuff that irritated me, I don't know if it's just the cameras making it look like that. But it just really irritated me that that was going on. And you could tell, like, she wasn't really interested in, like, dating him or, like, seeing him. Like, and he always made time. Like, he always made time in the day to talk to her. To basically, like, convince her, like, you should go to paradise with me. Get to know me. And let's go have fun in paradise. But throughout the whole show, she really didn't do it toward, till towards the end. And then that was the one thing that irritated me about the show. Uh, the second thing that irritated me about the show was... Um, what was the second thing? The second thing that irritated me on the show was Awa not going to paradise till like almost the end. Um, literally, I was annoyed because I was just kind of like, bro, like she's a pretty girl. I don't understand why she's not going. Um, third thing that irritated me was, oh, um, Kang So Yun and On Jin Tech. And the only reason why they irritated me, like they were my favorite couple. Honestly, they were my favorite couple on the entire show. Like they're the ones that I was like, yes, do it, be there. Like, yes, go to paradise together. The only reason why I, I had a lot of like, they were my favorite and then they were my non-favorite was because they were my favorite because I loved how Jin Take was so just like, I'm a one man woman. Like I only have my eyes set on you. Like, yeah, I do think um, Shin Ji Hyun is a, uh, is a pretty girl because he likes taller girls which I um, didn't take taking it for the tall girls yeah but anyways I like I like that I like that he was like so adamant about being a one-man guy but what irritated me was so she you could tell she really liked him and she was just like oh, okay so when they had the chance to go to paradise she had like the second time they weren't allowed to pick each other like from the first time so what they did was and spoiler, what she did was, was she purposely picked someone she knew wasn't going to pick her in hopes that he would do the same thing. And once he did the same thing, they'd be stuck in the inferno together. But instead, he picked someone who actually picked him. So he ended up going to paradise. And that whole process, I don't, like, like I said, like it made her look super clingy. And I don't know if she was really clingy or not, but it made her look really clingy like oh my god why would he go to the island with her and then she would go to moon sehun and kind of like flirt with him and kind of convince him that well jinyeon told me that she wasn't um wasn't interested in you like that so maybe you should open up your horizons and maybe try me out but that kind of blew up in her face and it kind of irritated him but as time went on in the show you'll see like jin take and soyeon actually um connected again so they were good uh and then the fourth thing that irritated me was um Gia Gia she's a pretty girl like she's stylish she's everything that a guy would want like when I first saw her I was like oh she's cute but when she would uh like okay so she had two guys interested in her she had Si Hun who looks like Lee Jong Suk and I'm gonna put the little comparison too and then she also had uh, Kim Hyun Jung interested in her. She first went to Paradise with uh, Hyun Jung, and you know they connected. And then she went the next day with Ji with Si Hun, but I guess she wasn't really feeling Si Hun like that. So instead, what she did was was she let him know in a way, basically like, hey, um. You know, I like the other guy more, basically, and this isn't going to work out, which he respected it and understood it. And uh, she started chasing after him, but then the show wanted to throw a curveball at us and drop three new people because, remember, we have Sehun, who's chasing after someone who doesn't seem like she's that interested in him. We have Sehun, who's also chasing someone who lost interest in him. And then we have... Um, like, uh, y'all one who, um, basically, like, she came off too much of, like, the homie. Like, that's, like, the friend. So, I didn't, like, it was a surprise at her and, um, uh, what's his name? I'm trying to remember it. Uh, Jung Sik went to, uh, Paradise together. But they dropped three new people, which who are Kim Sun Min, who's a model. And also Sung Min Jin, who's also a model. 
and then this infamous guy which i've seen the video and i was like oh that was him which is cha hyung Seung. he is a dancer he's worked with um some which that's why i said this infamous let's look at this picture uh he's i recently was on instagram he's been working with stray kids so he's been working with uh, quite a lot of people and he's a he's a dancer so they dropped these three new people and i'm thinking like oh bet like sehun's finally going to be able to leave paradise because the two girls actually are very interested in him uh some was like more nonchalant like she's just like oh well if he likes me he likes me if he don't he don't like there's other options but Minjin, I don't know if it was like, like I said, I don't know if it was the camera work, but they made it seem like she was really like determined to be with him. But as far as Cha Hyung Sung went, she he started chasing after Gia because they apparently they know each other from the past because I guess they were supposed to go out together before, but instead they never like I guess their schedule didn't work out and they never got to meet up with each other. So, um, so Gia had like three guys chasing after her, which. Like I said, it didn't really fit with me right because I was kind of like, well, dang, like, why is all these guys chasing after Gia? So it made it let her look kind of bad because it was kind of like, well, is she going to switch up on uh, Hyung, on Hyung Jung because the new guy's here? So it was really confusing. So that's what really was like my four biggest like annoyances with the show. But I liked a lot of stuff off the show. Like, let's talk about how... Like I said, like Jin Tech was always a Suyun, like he always promoted her. And the funny part is like I like the little games they played. Cause that one game when the guys were in the little little mud pit. No, no, okay, let me tell you this. Let's let's talk about this. How did all these girls just sit here and look at these guys shirtless and not just be like, dang. Like I don't know if it's probably just cause they made the show look like that, but I was kinda like, I couldn't I I wouldn't be on that show. I could not be on that show. If I would have saw all those guys shirtless like that, all, ooh, I'd have been like, I don't know who to pick. I don't, I don't. I would have been all like, mm. then I'd have been really outspoken. Like, oh boy, you got a good body. Ew. Like I probably would have been that person. But um, I like the games they played. I would have gave up on every game if I had to play against Suyun. I'd have been like, nah, I'm good. That girl too good for me. Like that girl, she does this for a living. Like I'm not going to beat her. But... I think, like, the thing that really irritated me, like I said, was one of them that I feel like we need to talk about, was, like, Samoon in chasing after that girl. It was kind of just, it was honestly super annoying. And then it was kind of just like, bro, catch the hint. Like, and then when these new girls came, it's like he had the opportunity to switch up. And he didn't even switch up, which I give him now. Like, I give him now. Like, he was being loyal. He wasn't going to switch up on someone because new girls came along. But, um... But it was just annoying that, you know, he was just chasing after this girl. And it was kind of just like, oh, my God, like, try out these new girls, which, you know, he did. He went on a date with um, Minji. And I feel like she was like, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it was a camera work or not, but I feel like she was chasing after someone who wasn't really her type. Like she likes gaming and all that other stuff. And he did, knew nothing about it, which I don't even game. But some of the games she mentioned, I was like, oh, I know what that is. I don't game myself, but I knew what it was. But it was just like, I just, I don't know. Like, Sunny was like sparking his interest. And then it was kind of like, just, but I, like I said, I give him now. I give him now. He was determined to get the girl. But then here goes Sihun, which Sihun got picked by uh, some Sumin to go to uh, Paradise, which the comment the girl the lady uh, like I've, I've this is my first time seeing her i'm new to like a lot of current like korean entertainers so i didn't know who she was but i'll put her picture here in her name she had a good point because if you watch the show sihan was consistently thanking sumin sumin or sumin for like taking him off the island or taking him off the island to get his mind off of things and it was kind of just like why like, I kind of understand what she said. Like, it's kind of weird that he's so thankful. But then again, I want to talk about, too, how uh, Suyun and uh, Jin Tate went to this island and started uh, testing the waters, if you catch my drift. It was nothing like how American shows, like, it was nothing sexual that we know of. But it was very like, ooh, I like you. You, mm, 
girl, I see you. Like, it was like one of those. I was like, mm, girl, you smart. And then the way she, like, picked him to go to Paradise again was so funny. Like, I laughed so hard. Because, honestly, I was kind of like, oh, dang. And it threw everybody off. Like, everybody was surprised, too. Like, they were like, oh, dang. But it was, like, watching the show, it was really good. Like, it was a really, like, interesting show. And it was interesting to watch people not be... Like, no offense to people who have done dating shows, but it wasn't nothing, like, sleazy. It wasn't, like, consistently, like, making out with a different dude or a different girl every other hour or day. It wasn't, like, it wasn't, like, sexualized. It was just, like, these people have dinner together. They talk with each other. They get to know each other. That's why I said, I don't know if it was just the camera work, but it wasn't, like, it was nothing, like, it was kind of, like... Like, you had to be like, oh, God, here he goes kissing this girl after he just kissed that girl. Like, you guys trying to catch Mono? It was, like I said, it was like a very respectful type of show. But in the end, they all picked their people, which Gia had three guys pick her, which was, there was nothing wrong with it. Like, you can't control who picks you. But it was one of those things, too, where it was kind of just like, God dang it, because Seahun picked her again. And it was like, bro, she already told you like four episodes ago that she's cool like she likes the other guy but then I was worried she wasn't gonna pick uh Hyunjun at the end I was kind of like girl if you don't pick him I'm gonna jump to the screen and just karate chop you in the throat I was I was I was gonna be so irritated she didn't pick him but then I was irritated that Sehun picked Jiyun and he had a like and it was messed up because he had a walk oh actually they had a okay so when Sehun picked Jia Sumin was right next to him spoilers these are spoilers and it made me mad that he walked past her or walked towards her and said thank you and she's smiling and she's like oh, okay cool like I'm gonna get picked and then he walks past her and it was kind of like like seriously like I was so mad <laughs> when I tell you guys I was like screaming I was like oh I want to punch him in his nice abs like I was like Bro, like, you went to Gia after she just basically said she's not interested. It's like, and literally, he was the first person she was like, yeah, no, bro. So, it really made me mad, but I understood why he did it. Because, like, I learned from the K-drama True Beauty. It's better to let someone know your feelings. Like, to get, to just hurry up and confess so you can get rejected so you can process your feelings. Even though he was processing his feelings for the past four days. But then... When Sehun had to go to uh, Jiyun, he had to walk right past Minji. And it was kind of like, I don't know. I feel like for the newer people, it was like a punch in the gut for them. Because they came the last like three days. It was like a nine day process. And they came the last three days. And it was like, did production really expect them to, like the people that are there to switch up that fast and pick the newer people? Because none of the newer people got picked. Like none of the people who joined the last three days got picked at, in the end all the other people got picked and it made sense they had more time to know each other and get to know each other and have fun so it was kind of like what you guys expect but it was just like like I said like for the newer people I feel like it was like a punch in the gut but my thing is I want to know if any of these people really like stuck together because I was actually on Instagram last night and I was trying to see if Suyun and Jin Tank were together still or like still talking and I noticed they both don't follow each other or like each other's pictures. So I thought that was odd. But a lot of people are trying to say that um, Hyung Sung and uh, Awan are dating. But they could just be friends. Just because you like someone's picture doesn't mean like, oh my god, they're dating. But I would really like to know who is dating who. And maybe when I find out, I'll post it on Instagram to be like, oh, so these people are still cool. These people still talk. But for sure, for sure, I know that Suyun and Jin Tae don't follow each other on Instagram. I checked. I was actually curious. But I feel like I had to talk about that. I feel like we had to talk about... I feel like I had to get that off my chest about this show because that was... It was confusing. But I would watch another show like this. Like, for sure, for sure, I would. I would definitely watch another show and be interested in, be interested in it because it was a good show. Like, it really was. But that's all I have today. I just wanted to talk about this show. I just feel like I needed to get that off my chest. Um, let me know in the comments below your opinions. And let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it in the comments. Let's talk about some things. And if I get a lot of comments on this, I'll make another video where 
I answer to your comments. So let's see. So other than that, you guys have a good day. Until next time, let's see what comes up next. Catch you guys later. Check out Singles Inferno. This is not a promotion. This is just me because this is something completely different from what I'm used to. So if you want to see something completely different from what you're used to, watch this show. Till next time.